Hi everyone, welcome to victoriapacking.com. Today we are going to make pickled cukes. Yes, it's pickling time again, and I'm making cukes and cherry tomatoes together, but you can make uh, with this recipe any vegetable you like, like cauliflower, carrots, or uh, whole cucumbers and whole big tomatoes. It's pretty easy to use. As you see here, I did it all. Uh, and the recipe is pretty easy and very fun. So let's get started. Take jar. Those are sterilized jars, but they are sterilized in a dishwasher. The hottest and the longest um, time it will be sufficient enough. You don't need more. Now to the jars, add fenugreek. This is Indian spice. Just a bit couple of those in each um, in each jar because it's very very strong and this jar is a little bit more this is 20 uh, 250 milligrams and this is 500 milligrams so um, just you to know the sizes of the jars to each add um, bay leaves to each of this one of the leaves goes in really nice to each add a little bit of kalanji seeds now this is really lovely and strong black seeds and they are very fragrant so just a little bit as well just a bit will do the work now this is turmeric root if you don't uh, can get by this you have uh, to use uh, turmeric dry turmeric but it's less efficient a little shave for each will be sufficient enough you don't need much more like so and this i will give two shaves it will give color and flavor and fragrance what what not really lovely this is elephant garlic actually this is not garlic at all funny enough it's family of the leeks but it's flavored like garlic so i'm going to put a little bit of garlic inside each of them if you can get by it just use regular garlic yeah this is the size of the garlic it's more like onion so one per each will do the job deal with again you can use baby dill or just dill but i love the flavor and fragrance of dill with so a little bit to each you know as much it will stuck in now i have here cucumbers this is filled cucumbers and they're pretty big so if you have small ones you don't need to do it but because i have a big one i want to feed them inside and i will cut them so dispose of those two and cut them like so it will be sliced for this matter you can use any cucumber you like small one big ones or even english uh, cucumbers but if you use filled cucumbers cover them with water and let them stand for a couple of hours okay i have about pound of them so i'm going to stick them pretty pretty much a lot of them to the one as many as i can to each one one thing that i forgot to mention is ginger but i'm using candied ginger it gives such a different and unique flavor to it so one piece per each cucumber will be absolutely enough and it will be like absolutely different and wonderful flavor to it like so you see a little bit bigger to the bigger jar now tomatoes here i have sherry tomatoes so just fill them as many as you can about half a pound or so And to this one I will give one heirloom tomato, just because I can. 
like so. You see it's really packed here. Here it will go as well. Okay, add all spice berries. If you can't find them, you can um, add uh, the powder into the vitiger. About a teaspoon or so. Couple of berries to each of the... Now, one cup of vinegar. You can use rice vinegar, apple cider vinegar, any vinegar that has 5% uh, wine uh, vinegar. So I'm using um, rice vinegar in here. To the vinegar, add salt. I'm adding coarse salt, Himalayan salt. So three tablespoons. Yeah, lots of salt. And I'm adding three tablespoons of sugar. Now make sure that your salt has no additives at all. Like so. Sorry, I made a mistake. Actually, two cups of um, vinegar. Bring that to a boil. Now you can add another two cups of water and bring it to the boil together or do it separately as I did. If you are doing like me, add uh, the vinegar to the half of the jars. This is boiled vinegar. And then cover it with uh, the rest with the boiling water. As usual in my case and my recipes, this is very freehand recipe. You can make cauliflower carrots, any vegetable pretty much you like. You can add chili peppers just to give a kick or different spices. So do as you like. Another thing, if you like it sweet, add more sweetness, more sugar. Close it with boiled leaves. Boil them for five minutes in, uh, in the water, like so. Okay, I have a little bit, little bit too much of the tomatoes here, so I'm adding it here. You can push it down because you have a lot of um, vegetables that will give it their juices and it will, they will sink. Okay, cover them with the rings. No, first of all, do this because I want all the air go out, so just push it down. It's pretty hot, so hold it with something. Like so. Push it down, close with the lid. Very well. Now you can do one thing. This. Take it down. Opa. You see? That's why you need to if it started to pouring out, you need to close it better. Because probably it's too much things there. Close it very well. Like so. Cover it with a beautiful towel or something warm and let it cool completely. About 8 hours or so. Let them stand uh, at least 48 hours and then you can um, pop them inside the refrigerator or you can leave them outside. They're going to be just fabulous. They're holding outside of the refrigerator for about two months, but believe me, they won't. You will eat them right away. So, I hope you enjoyed the idea and don't forget to subscribe, write me a comment, thumbs up me and cheers, Victoria. Love you all, see you next time. And don't forget to check my other recipes, pickling recipes, the link in description box below. Love you all, see you next time. Bye!